Hey, how's it going guys? So from the last lesson, we learned how to create a new Google Sheets file using the Google Sheets API. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to write data. Before we dive into the tutorial, I want to go over some of the terminologies. Let me go to the spreadsheet we created from the last video. So a Google Sheets file is a spreadsheet file. And inside a spreadsheet, we can have multiple sheets or worksheets. So sales nuance tab is a worksheet. Sales ease uh, tab is also another worksheet. And in your worksheet, you can have uh, rows and columns. So these are columns and these are rows. And those uh, rectangles you see on the screen, those are what we call cells. And a single rectangle is a cell. Now let me go back to the documentation. So there are three different methods to write data. We can use the we can use the update method to write data to a single cell range. Or we can use the batch update method to write data to multiple cell ranges. And we can also use the append method to append data to a single cell range. And in this lesson, I'll cover the append method and the update method. I'll cover the batch update method in a separate video. So I'll start with the spreadsheets.values.update method. So here's my, uh, my first Google Sheets file spreadsheet. And here, let me go back to my Python editor. And for this exercise, I'll be using the writingdata.py file. So the first I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, Google Sheets ID. So from the URL, you want to grab the spreadsheet ID here. So the ID is this one right here. I'm going to copy and paste. And I'll save my spreadsheet ID to a variable called spreadsheet ID. Next, I want to create a spreadsheet instance to connect to my first Google Sheets file. And I'll name this instance my spreadsheet. And I'm going to insert the service object, the spreadsheets. And I'll use the get method to get the spreadsheet object. So I need to pass the spreadsheet ID to the spreadsheets, to the uh, spreadsheet ID parameter. And here I'll pass my spreadsheets ID that as a queue. I'm going to execute the select code. All right, so if I print the, my spreadsheet object, and that's going to give me all the information associated to, to uh, this spreadsheet right here. All right, so let's go back to the documentation and like I say, I'll start with the, with the update method. If we look at the description, the update method sets values in a range of a spreadsheet. The color must specify the spreadsheet ID, range, and value input option. Basically, using the update method, we can specify the cell range we want to enter the data. So the update method will take a spreadsheet ID, a cell range, the range parameter indicating the cell that you want to insert in the data and followed by some uh, query parameters. So the value input option parameter is required. If we look into the enumeration, and here are the three values you can provide. So the first one is default, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can insert the data as a raw string, meaning that uh, when you enter, for example, like a date format, the raw string will treat the date format as a regular string. First, if you use user enter uh, value, if you enter a date value, then the value is going to get converted to a date format. It also have include value in response, and I won't be using this. So these two parameters I'm going to ignore for now, and I'll cover these two parameters in a later video, just because uh, those things can get a little bit more advanced. So primarily, we'll be using spreadsheet ID, range, and value input option. Now let me go back to the Python editor. So the first thing we need to provide is the worksheet name. So here I'll create a variable to provide the worksheet name. And I want to insert the data to, let's see, I want to insert the data to sales nodes worksheet. For the range parameter, I'm going to insert a variable to uh, assign to that parameter argument. So I'll name this variable cell range insert. 
and I want to enter my data in, let's do cell uh, B2. Inside the machine name variable, I forgot to insert the explanation symbol. If we combine these two values together, and that will make out to the uh, machine name plus the cell range that we want to uh, insert the data. Now let me go back to the documentation again. Let me scroll down to the request body. So the request body will take an instance of uh, value range object. And let me close this tab. If we look at the value range object, this object contains uh, these three parameters, range, major dimension, and values. So values are your data that you want to insert. And major dimension meaning that, so if we look at the immersion values, you can insert the data by rows or by columns. And dimension um, specified is uh, the default value, in, in which we do not want to use. And for the range field, we don't actually have to provide this value because uh, when we uh, insert the update method, the update method already has the, the range parameter. So to put everything together, so here let me go back to my Python script. I want to create my values. And last I want to insert four columns of data. And I want to insert my field names first. So this will be column A column B, column C, and column D, and followed by four different values. Let's do apple, orange, watermelon, and banana. And for the value range object, I'm going to create a dictionary. And I'll name this dictionary value range body. And it's going to be a dictionary. Here I want to uh, provide my major dimension. And I'm going to insert by rows. And we'll provide the values. And the values will be coming from the values object. Now we have all the uh, variables and objects created. Now I can run my update statement. So here I'll insert the service object, dot spreadsheets, dot values, dot update. Inside the update method, I need to provide the spreadsheet ID, value input option, I'm going to enter user enter for the range. I'm going to insert washing name plus cell range insert variable. For the body, I'll pass value range body object that execute. Now let me put the spreadsheet back. Here, let me do this. I'll put the the editor and the spreadsheet side by side. Let me terminate this session. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and based on the information I provide, so here we have column A to column D, and followed by the four different fruits that uh, we inserted in our values uh, object. So what happens if you change the major dimension from rows to columns? So here, let me show you. I will also show you how to clear the cell content. To clear sales content, I'll insert the service object, dot spreadsheets, dot values, dot clear. Inside the clear method, we need to provide the spreadsheet ID and range. And since I want to clear the entire uh, worksheet, so I can just provide the worksheet name. And my worksheet name is sales north. That execute. So let me do this. I'll run the lines individually. I'll execute the code from line number one to line number twelve. Now if I just run this highlighted code. And that's going to clear everything on my uh, sales notes worksheet. Now I'm, 
Now I'm going to copy uh, this code block. Now I'm going to copy uh, this batch of code. Except that I'm going to change the major dimension from rows to columns. Now if I run the select code, and that's going to insert the data from left to right. Now for the for the appends method, so let's go to the appends method documentation. Using the append method, uh, this method will append values to a spreadsheet. The input range is used to search for existing data and find a table within that range. Values will be appended to the next row of the table, starting from the first column of the table. So what I mean is here, yeah, basically what I mean is when you have some data already exists in a table, the append method will just insert new data at the end of the table. So here, let me give you an example. So this one is going to be update method. So values the update. And this is going to be values that append. I'm going to grab this uh, code block, except that I'm going to change the value from let's do D, uh, let's do column E. Uh, actually, let's do, oops, let's do uh, column E, F, G, and H. And I'm going to change the values to let's do Toyota, Honda, Tesla, and BMW. And I'll change the method from update to append. Now if I run the highlighted code, and if we look at the table, even though uh, from the cell range insert variable, I use B2, indicating that I want to insert the data uh, from cell B2, which is uh, this cell right here. I mean, use a different color. And because I'm using the append method, it's going to insert new data when the method detects that there's already some data exists in this table right here. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this lesson. For the next lesson, I'll show you how to read data using the Google Sheets API.